Arjun is in a miserable position. That is not the position of Arjun, the person. That is the situation of entire mankind. That is the conflict that we all face daily, every day. So first of all, it is not about Arjun and Krishna. It is not about two persons. Arjun and Krishna are both within us. Krishna is not standing in front of Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. Namaste. I am Teresa Destimona, a third year undergraduate student from the Department of Mining Engineering. And my question is, uh, in college life and in general as well, students have to make decisions that can possibly have a lot of impact on their lives. Uh, many times I personally feel that I'm not ready to make important decisions and I end up doubting my decisions a lot. And this self-doubt over whether I have made the correct decision or not causes me a very long time to make these decisions. So how can I be more confident in my decision making as a student? No, you do not need confidence. You need inquiry and honesty. It's better to suspend confidence and conclusions than to be falsely confident. Most people you find radiating confidence are actually just radiating false confidence. So remain an inquirer. Inquiry is difficult and uncomfortable because the mind wants to come to quick conclusions. The mind does not want to stay in a state of uncertainty and predictability. The mind wants to quickly certify to itself that its decisions are all right or not all right. Hmm? You could say the mind wants to operate in binary. You want to quickly know, say yes or no. Have you not seen people do this? Please say yes or no. Whereas the facts of life are otherwise. They demand rigorous inquiry, they demand continuous attention. You cannot just label them as right or wrong in one go. And not only do we want to label stuff as okay or not okay, we want to close the matter by saying we are confident that the final decision has been made, that an irreversible certificate has been issued. Just like your degree, you know. Once you have it, you have it for life. Life is not like that. You have to be continuously on the vigil. You have to keep asking, what is happening? Is it all right? Is it not all right? Even these questions, you see, are not needed in the real sense. What is needed is deep observation and the honesty to acknowledge whatever you see. You might be feeling that you have you have cracked a particular problem but you must go through your solution again have i really solved it if i have solved it are the symptoms corresponding to a solution state why am i in such a hurry to seal the deal why do I want to say, I have arrived, the thing is final? Because it appears cool, especially in your age group. We do not like the uncertain ones. We do not like the probing ones. We like the ones who loudly declare that they are good and home. We idolize those who emphatically say, I know. We do not quite like those who say, I am trying to know. Because all our emphasis is on success, on results, on the consumption of results. We work with an intention to quickly get results and consume the results, extract happiness from the results. 
we do not quite enjoy the process of inquiry. Joy lies in inquiry itself. Joy does not lie so much in concluding, closing or arriving. It lies in travelling rightly. Hmm? So, it is alright if you are not a very confident person. It would have been in fact a far bigger problem had you been unnecessarily confident. You might not realize it, but confidence is a very, very deep problem. Confidence indicates an ego hellbent on deceiving itself. And confidence is not the same as realization. Confidence is also not the same as faith. Confidence in fact corresponds to an inner laziness. I do not want to keep inquiring. Therefore, I am shutting down the process of inquiry. I won't allow any more questions to arise. That kind of confidence we have. So, do not feel inferior. Do not allow others to dominate you and do not be easily impressed by those who appear confident. Getting it? Yes, sir. Hmm.